my my two uncles, I, I um, my father's brothers, I knew much more about, and actually I was in touch with my father. Um, used to write to his brother Jack very very frequently uh, for many many years. When Jack died, um, my father continued writing to Jack's daughter Gladys. Uh, when my father died, I took over the correspondence and continued writing to Gladys. And the year before Mum and Dad got married, we went to America and we stayed a week with um, Morris and Carol in New York and we went to Los Angeles for a week. Do you remember that was... Um, Palace, Palisade. Uh, yes, Pacific Palisades, Pacific that's where they Pacific lived. We got a we got a, a cheap flight um, within the country, uh, an inexpensive flight from New York to Los Angeles, and we spent a week with them, and it was very very nice. And my cousin Gladys said, "Well, this is such a special occasion. We've got to get. We, it's quite a common thing in America to have cousins clubs." in which they all meet one another and get together, which I think is a lovely idea. She said, I'm going to call a meeting at the Cousins Club and you'll get to you'll get to meet the cousins who you know of very well but have never met. So I met her brother, Saul, who was always known as Sonny, and my cousin Zena. These were my Uncle Jack and Auntie Minnie's children. And then she invited the other the other uncle, Uncle Edmund's uh, son, Leon. So and he came with his wife, Ruth. So I got to meet cousins who I'd only ever just heard of. But I, I kept up this correspondence with Gladys and her husband. And um, it was very, very nice. And I also had a correspondence with my Uncle Edmund, who was the last of the brothers and who lived to be over 90. So I tried to be the family correspondent for a long time and of course it was all letters then no such thing as uh, computers and email mm. <laughs>